Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is Jason Chats. The yabba dabba dabba do. Um, I don't know why I'm making a video, but I'm doing it anyway. I just, uh, I know since my YouTube channel got deleted and destroyed and obliterated and uh, it seemed like somebody was out to uh, sabotage me in some way, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm not allowed on YouTube. Yeah! So here I am on, well, I'm going to be on Facebook, but this video will be on my website, jasonnewland.com. <sighs> yes. And yeah, I guess it will be on my Vimeo uh, channel as well, which is Vimeo forward slash Jason Newland, I think. So the idea really is to give you an update on what's occurring in my life. I haven't got Andre with me at the moment. In fact, I don't know where he is. He's somewhere asleep. I've got him. Oh. There he is, just go, wait a sec. Hey, come here. I've got some friends that want to see you. Oh, that's like a weird noise. Here he is. You must have heard your name. Mm, give me daddy kisses. <laughs> he um, must have heard his name. So, I... Right. Got the washing machine going at the moment, just had a bath. I uh, don't smell quite so bad now. And I've got this little monkey. Good little monkey head. Do you want to say hello? Come on, say hello. Say hello. 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 Say hello. 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 Say hello. Say hello. Say hello, Sebastian. Dirty bastard. I say hello. Don't say that. Say say hello, Uncle Sebastian. Fuck off, Andre. Say hello, Auntie Boston. Hello, Auntie Boston. Oh. Say hello, Auntie Letty. Who else? Say hello to to <laughs> kisses and kisses. Say hello. Hello, everybody on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> my bl my my brain has gone blank. I was going to list a lots of different people, but. Uh, Yeah, well, hello to everybody. Oh, yawny pony. So, hello. So yeah, uh, I have, um, it's been a weird period over the last few weeks. So when I lost my YouTube channel, it was, it was annoying, but it was doubly annoying because I've been working on it. I'd actually paid YouTube to promote the videos. I paid YouTube, um, paid them. So it's not like I was doing anything dodgy, you know, to sort of get video views. I was actually paying them so that the videos came on as an advert, you know, on other YouTube videos, you know, just so that people could get to see what I'm doing and stuff. Um, so when I actually deleted my channel, I still owed them about 30 pound. That was a, a bitter pill, that was. Look at that girl. Kisses, you just love your kisses, don't you? It's kisses all day long, isn't it, with you? Mm. And um, so that went, I thought I'd lost pretty much all my videos. 
which was, yeah, it was annoying. Yeah, 11 years worth of videos, 770 videos or something like that. What are you doing? I want you to stay here all the time. Mm. And um, he wants to go. Say goodbye then. Wave goodbye. Wave goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay, wave goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See, this is something I like doing. It's one of my favourite things, if you can see. Okay, if I hold him like that, right. Oh, you're so, he's so wiggly. If I hold him like this and go like that, and his finger, look, his little, little foot grabs around. Oh! Okay, I'll let you go. Let's hope he doesn't knock the camera down. So, yeah, um, I thought I'd lost my videos. I still have my podcast, so all my hypnosis sessions, whatever, were on my podcast for people to listen and download. So I knew I hadn't lost all my stuff, just the videos. However, I had, I discovered I had a hard drive. Well, I didn't discover I had a hard, I knew I had a hard drive, but I've packed it away when I lost my laptop when that broke, which is about three months ago, maybe longer. So I just uh, had got that out. I didn't even think I could connect it to the Chromebook, but I could. So that surprised me. And I had pretty much all the videos from the past up to the point where I lost the laptop because I was storing my stuff on the laptop. I didn't realize I'd been quite good. I'd been converting, I'd been, um, transferring and saving quite a lot of my stuff as well at that point you know at the beginning of the year and stuff so luckily I've got a lot of that stuff left like the uh, relaxation panic attack course I did I did 40 or 34 or 43 of those uh, and the sleep hypnosis weekly ones that I did and the chronic pain relief Tuesdays so I've got, I kept all those luckily I've got those saved Anyway, this is boring, isn't it? So I've, I didn't know what to do next because I looked at things like Daily Motion. Daily Motion just doesn't, you know, I've tried to upload stuff on there before and they just delete them. I do have a Daily Motion account that's been there since probably 10 years, if not longer. But I just don't, it just doesn't get any views. No one, you know, no one watches. No one goes. No one uses Daily Motion. I don't think. Uh, I tried MySpace. I thought I'll go back to MySpace. Discovered quite a few of my old audios on there, uh, and also some fans had opened up MySpace accounts and put my stuff on there, but no videos and uh, can't can't use the service anymore. It wouldn't let me upload videos. So then I thought, okay, I know there are other videos sites out there. Not many though, to be fair. There were loads at one point. I, was, I had accounts with every single video uh, place that there was. Um, I'm trying to think of one, My Cafe or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's lots of different ones, but they're, most of them are gone or they're not just, not, don't, no one visits them anymore. YouTube does have a monopoly on videos, basically. I think we all can agree on that one. And so Vimeo is pretty much the number two. And there is a massive gap between YouTube and Vimeo. I mean, it's, uh, I think it's the difference between uh, Hussein Bolt and me as sprinters, you know. I'm Vimeo, Hussein Bolt is YouTube, that's, that's the difference. But I'm still number two, in a sense, you know. Still, just, uh, you, Vimeo uh, isn't really there for the general public to just upload a load of stuff, kitten videos and stuff like that. It's not really there for, it's more there for professionals uh, who are making films, making movies or um, businesses that need somewhere where they can make a professional video and keep it safe and so they can, and other people that want to sell stuff and things like that. So 
Although there is a free service, there is a free account you can have. It's very limited on how many videos you can upload. It's a very small amount of space. And uh, so I had to make a decision. I had to make a decision. What do I do? Do I... Um, yeah, there was part of me just wanted to give up. I just had enough. Then I got all these video, uh, these uh, messages on Facebook and a few emails asking me where my stuff's gone and telling me that they needed it because it helps them sleep at night and things like that. Uh, and although I know that hundreds of thousands of my sessions have been downloaded, like the MP3s, over the last 11 years, hundreds, probably about half a million, if not more, over that, that time have been downloaded. So there are people around the world listening to my stuff or not listening to it, depending on you know, however you look at it. But um, it might just be another file on a computer lost. But, you know, some people are using that stuff. I felt obligated to put my stuff back online. So I looked at Vimeo. Vimeo, the, the basic account is free, but that allows me probably to upload maybe a video, maybe two. That's, you know, it's not not going to really cut it. The um, second one up, or the first pay one, is I think it's five gigabytes a week for, um, I can't even remember how much it is, but it's five gigabytes a week to upload, which you could say, fair enough, that's quite a lot, but uh, I've got over 200 plus gigabytes worth of video. So five a week ain't, it's gonna take way too long to upload all the stuff. And uh, I initially bought five gigabytes and I had uploaded the five gigabytes within about an hour. And I'd, I'd only uploaded a few videos. It just, you know, some of my videos are over a gigabyte, some of them are three gigabytes each. Uh, some are a lot less, but uh, the better quality ones, the better quality video, the better quality, you know, are higher spec and they're higher gigabytes. Uh, just like this video, this will be, depending on how long I talk for, but if I did this for an hour, it's going to be maybe a couple of gigabytes. So it's weird, isn't it? But it's just the way it is. So, I, I know you can reduce the video files, but... I don't have um, my webs. I don't have a laptop to do that with. Uh, I need software to do that, and unfortunately, the free services online they limit it. You can't. You can reduce a video file from maybe a hundred gigabytes down to maybe you know sixty-two or sixty or whatever you know. But you can't. They don't allow you to download to convert a really large file. Not for free. So I can maybe look at doing that in the future once I get a laptop or a computer, a new one in the future. Anyway, so I looked at it and I thought, I did go online and I asked people and I put a, like a, just put it, an idea out there about just saying people that I need uh, help possibly. And um, the consensus really among most of the people that responded was, I'm sure you're your fans will help you. So basically it was, it, that was kind of the consensus. I'm sure your fans will help you. No one was actually saying they wanted to help, but they said, I'm sure your other people will help you to get your videos back on. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I'm not, I can't rely, I don't want to rely on other people. This is a free service. This is something that I choose to do, something that I have, invested a uh, you know thousands of pounds in over the years and you know thousands and thousands of hours and you know I'm, ha I'm happy with that it's fine that's what I chose to do so I had to make a decision and what I did is I spent 200 pounds and I got a Vimeo account which allows me to upload 20 gigabytes a week which still is it's gonna, you know, it's still 10 weeks before I've uploaded everything, and I still haven't uploaded everything, and it's been about four, five, four weeks or five weeks now. So I've still got quite a lot to upload, 
uh, quite a few bits, but they're big files. As I said, some of them are like three gigabytes each. So when I get tomorrow, I'll get my next 20 gigabytes available. I will upload the uh, relaxation and panic attack course that I did. And I won't be able to, able to upload all of them. Probably I'll be able to upload maybe 10, 12 of them. And then I'll have to wait till next week to upload more. So it's fine, but I've got about 560 videos already uploaded onto Vimeo and they're on my website. So the additional thing is I've got a website and I started, I've already had a website for, you know, since 2006. Same website address, jasonnewland.com. But this time what I did is I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I chose to pay for quite a good service which I can build it online myself, but at the same time there's a lot extra comes with this. It's not just basic stuff, it's a lot of SEO stuff and I can help like promote it and everything. So I've spent the last month, it might be longer, I don't know, but um, it seems ages. And I've uploaded, I've made all the different pages, I've built the website bit by bit, it's taken a lot of time, I'm still not finished with it, it will never be finished but I've still, as it stands now there's still a lot to do, but a lot of it is behind the scenes, you can't see it necessarily. I'm not happy with the first page, I want to change that, but I feel quite happy about the layout and the individual sections, uh, it's quite easy to navigate and yeah I'm pretty pleased with it, but there's a lot, lot to do. The, and I am getting more and more visitors now, so it is starting to grow again. Uh, that's the thing, when you change your website, even if it's the same website address, all those old links get deleted or they don't work anymore. It's, you know, whichever happens first with Google. Uh, so, there, it takes a while for Google to uh, start to notice and register the, the different links within the website and because there's uh, you know 600 odd pages on my website at the moment it's going to take a while before all those different links get monitored and get you know registered onto Google and whatever other uh, search engines that no one else uses so I think it'll take a while but my main web you know the jasonnewland.com is up there again and you know if you put my name in it comes up uh, which is good so at least that's back it was off for a while and the other thing is my podcast which is on iTunes and SoundCloud and probably about five or six other podcasts it's all the original podcast is on SoundCloud and then I um, register it with different podcasts uh, with iTunes of course which is the most popular I guess and so I've got that. I'm still getting probably about 1,500 plays a week. Uh, it variates. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. The downloads, again, that changes depending. When I had my the download link on the YouTube videos, I was getting a lot more downloads than I'd ever had because I'd, I'd spent a lot of time putting those links onto the YouTube videos. Uh, prior, the, you know, the, like three weeks prior to the, the, the channel being shut down. So I was getting hundreds and hundreds of uh, downloads. But the YouTube channel's gone, so that, that, that um, source of traffic or source of getting downloads is gone. So that's, that's, that's how it is. Uh, I put download links to all of my sessions, or at least most of them I still got work to do on all my videos so every page you got would you come to you know say if you go to the main page click on relaxation comes up uh, and there's you know 1 to 30 31 to 60 whatever you click on whichever one and then it would every, each video tells you how lo what the name of the video is picture of me or a picture of the video and how long the video is so you can see before you start how long it's going to be click on that the picture and that takes you to the actual page of the video and there's a video embedded 
which plays automatically if it's on a laptop or a computer. I think you have to press play if it's on a on a phone, I think. I may be wrong on that. Um, I can't remember. But it's also going to be, on most of them, and all of them eventually, a download link for the MP3. So download MP3. You can click that and it will download. Again, I'm not sure how it works on your phone. Um, but it, I guess it depends on the settings of your phone. But on a, a laptop or computer, it just downloads or asks you to you know, accept it as a file and downloads. So you've got that free. Um, and there also will be a box, a SoundCloud box, where you can play it. So you can just play the audio. Um, so those that have got less data on their phone, for example, may want to just not watch the video. So you can press pause on the video and just listen to it the mp3 and audio is a lot less data it uses a lot less than you know um, a video obviously so I guess so that's the options on there that's that's going to be on every single video apart from those that I haven't got videos for so during my little search on my hard drive I found a bunch of stuff that I didn't have any videos for I only had audios I only had mp3s so what I've done is I have converted those, I've, I've put those onto, uh, yeah, I've, I've, they're in a, I put, I've uploaded them onto SoundCloud, or if they were already uploaded on SoundCloud, I have made a section for each one of those as well. Most of them are just hypnosis courses. So... Each page goes, it's the same as before, each page, you know, click on it, whatever, it tells you how long it is, you click on it and it comes to that page. Instead of a video, there's just a download button and there will be a SoundCloud play. So there won't be any video because there is no video. And so I did lose a fair bit of stuff. I hadn't uh, saved quite a bit of stuff, quite a few videos onto the hard drive from the laptop. But that's just an error of mine and that's, that's just how it is. Uh, I lost quite a little bit of material when I lost the laptop as well. There was stuff on there that I lost, but and pay, never mind. The so the podcast is uh, it, you can search me. Basically, if you put my name in into Google, a bunch of stuff comes up. Or if you put my name in Jason Newland Hypnosis, a bunch of stuff comes up, which is my website, my iTunes page my SoundCloud page, my Facebook page, my Twitter page, um, I think the different podcasts and stuff like that. So it's all kind of there really. And what else? The I've got quite a few podcasts with Podomatic as well, but I don't check them anymore. Um, I went through a phase when I was just continue, every day checking sort of. And... I get, I don't know how many I get, I probably, again I'm not checking them, but I was, the last count I had about 250, 300,000 um, downloads uh, from the Podomatic, diff, the various different um, accounts, diff, the different podcasts I've got. Um, the good thing with, Pod, with Podomatic is they have their own charts as well, and they have their own. They promote their own videos. Um, plus, they're all most. I think apart from one or two, they're all on iTunes as well. So the, the my podcasts are on iTunes for that as well. So yeah, I don't know what else to say really. I just it's kind of just an update really, just an update of what's going on on the website, what's going on with me as far as concerning the hypnosis stuff. Personal stuff, um, not a huge amount has happened. Um, I'm just trying to, as we're, I've been trying to lose some weight or you know slim down a little bit, which is something I want to do. Uh, I'd like I like the idea of next summer being able to go out in a t-shirt but without any kind of like um, I don't know embarrassment I guess just I like to be able to go out and 
I don't expect to have a six pack and it'd just be nice just to have a bit of a flatter tummy um, and I've been doing weights as well so I've been able to uh, try to sort of condition my body a bit and just feel a bit like better I guess physically um, thinking about the future with the YouTube video channel being deleted I'll just, just by the way I did open three more channels and they all got deleted so you know I didn't just let it lie I did try to do something more but you know a good thing is quite a uh, cutter kite is one person one of my uh, followers fans friends that likes what I do he has downloaded some of my videos a couple of a few of my videos from Vimeo and uploaded them to his YouTube channel that is something that I welcome everyone to do if you would like to help other people uh, to see my videos and the reason I say that is because and I've actually been told this by people um, that they don't want to some people don't want to go out of their way uh, to watch my videos they don't want to go to a different video channel like Vimeo they don't want to have to go to my website they just want to be able to be on YouTube and find my stuff and I can't offer that service because I'm not on YouTube anymore I'm not allowed on YouTube but so I can't facilitate that particular need however that need may be uh, accomplished that might you know be uh, that you know you may be able to help other people with that so for example the most um, popular mostly used videos that I've ever made are the sleep insomnia hypnosis sessions they're the ones that constantly consistently uh, over the period of time have always had the most views uh, even you know the last video channel YouTube channel I had was for a year and because the last one got deleted as well I don't know why people spam um, flag by YouTube videos because I don't really get it because I don't I don't go on there I'm not really like particularly controversial not with the hypnosis stuff and I don't think particularly with even the vlogs to be fair yeah if you go onto YouTube there are there's there are people doing videos hypnosis for orgasms and hand-free orgasms and um, hypnosis for feeling like you're on drugs and hypnosis for all kinds of potentially I say potentially harmful things for people that may not be ready to do that kind of stuff that may uh, it's not okay it's non-therapeutic that's what I'm saying there's, there's a lot of non-therapeutic hypnosis sessions on YouTube and I would say that all of my hypnosis sessions that were on YouTube are therapeutic in nature there's also that there's always that for me anyway it might not seem obvious if you watch them but there's that aim for you to gain something and to feel better about yourself more so than you did before you started watching the videos or listening to the mp3s and you could say well having an orgasm ticks that box as well you know you feel better at the end of it than you did at the start fair enough I can't argue with that but how come they're still on YouTube why why is it okay to the teenage girls to be jumping up and down on their bed in their underwear I'm not I'm not moaning about that I'm just saying how come that's all right but my hypnosis sessions aren't um, or if I was there with a bra on with massive tits taking items out of my bra which is one of the most popular videos was on YouTube 
continue taking stuff out of the bra, like an elephant and a, you know, screwdriver and a bungalow and whatever else, you know, out of the bra. It's like, surely that would upset more people than a hypnosis session on helping people who have insomnia to sleep or helping you to reduce your chronic pain. I personally am not offended by someone taking um, pieces of jigsaw puzzle and you know various fruit out of their bra. That's that's fine. I'm okay with that. Not something that I'm would watch too many times. But I'd probably get more <laughs> out of that than the uh, hands free orgasm <laughs> video. <sighs> so is actually one hypnotist. A friend, one of my fans, actually um, contacted me and said, how come you're, because this is in the past when I got flagged, why are you getting flagged when there's a man who's, you can't see his face, but so he's done an audio, but he's uploaded a video, and I do that sometimes. He, not like him, and he's basically masturbating and talking at the same time. Now, I've never made a video like that, ever. Not even the ones where you can't see me. I don't know why I said not even the ones you can't see me, but I've just, I, but you know, I, I wouldn't even enter my mind to, I don't connect this with any kind of sexual um, enjoyment, really, you know? It just doesn't, I, I don't know, there's, the, the internet's full of porn. You know, why would, that's, I'm not saying that there aren't people that maybe get off to my voice and, fight, you know, maybe, and that's fine, it's none of my business and good luck to you. Um, but it's not why I do it, it's not, not why I'm doing this, and I don't reap any of the benefits from that, if people do like my voice or like my videos in that way, I can't help it if I've got a sexy beard. You know, so all in all, I've lost my subscribers on YouTube. Um, the website is getting some views. I'm getting visitors every day, and you know it's it's all right. Yeah. I'm getting visitors to the Vimeo as well, I'm getting people playing my videos, but it's nothing compared to what I had on YouTube. It's not even, it, it, you know what people say, it's not even a fraction, well of course it's a fraction, it's gonna be a, even if it's like one hundredth, one thousandth of a percent or whatever, it's, so people are watching and listening. The SoundCloud's, Count is still going fairly strong um, but it, it gets stronger when I put new stuff on there that's the bottom line is the more new stuff I put onto the podcast the more listens I get so the last thing I put on there was uh, sleep 22 I think it was sleep number 22 and it's had like 200, 300 or whatever um, plays or downloads. But if I put another one, another video, another MP3 on, then I'll get another, you know, I just get more people listening. I think people like new stuff, they like, especially on the internet, it's nice to have new material. Um, as well as also access to your favorite one. Which is what, you know, which is why I'm coming back to the YouTube. If you do have a YouTube channel and you do, you know, if you like what I do and if you want to spread it, spread the cheer, spread the love to those that need it, that want it, but don't want to move off of YouTube, that want, to, want it on YouTube, then you could do maybe what Cutter Kite has done and he has as I said, just downloaded all my videos available to download. If you just go to my Vimeo account. If you go to my website account, just click on the Vimeo at the top in the sign. Um, I'm easy to find. And you can download a video, you can see how long it is, download it, and then just upload it to your YouTube channel. And then you can just delete it off your 
off your whatever yeah, computer. But if you want to do that, it's really good, and that will help. And I appreciate it, and that means other people will be able to benefit as well. So that's it for me. You take care, everyone, and if you've got any questions, just leave me a message. I'm going to upload this onto Facebook, and then eventually I'm going to upload it onto my website. See you later. Bye-bye.